Silam Apuran. We return. The Ascended Masters continue to assert themselves on your world. Our Earth allies, with their divine help are readying for the grand transformations that are shortly to follow. We are preparing our personnel for a more direct series of interactions with your new governments. These interactions include the formal disclosure process and a to-be-announced program of technology transfers from us to you. We are also assessing what is most urgently needed to sustain Mother Earth and her diverse ecosystems. A number of her life webs are now critical, and we have set up the preliminary means to resolve these dire situations. Examples of these are the Gulf of Mexico and the Arctic. The unabated actions of your last dark cabal have substantially exacerbated the gravity of the conditions in these two regions, and there are others just as sensitive. We are ready to do our part in temporarily balancing Gaia. We are also putting the finishing touches to the initial presentations that our spokespersons are to make to you. These shocking announcements require the right blend of truth and sincerity. At the same time we are meeting with our Earth allies to decide where to put the last members of the Dark Cabal, and we have picked out several places where they can be kept during the trials that are to swiftly follow their mass arrests. This is being done to validate the legitimacy of the new caretaker governments. A large number of announcements will mark the first few days of these new administrations, among them, the revelation of vast and reported funds which are to serve as a foundation for resolving governmental debt and for restoring many essential services, such as the education of your children. Other funds are to be used to modernize and prepare these regimes for the transfer of their secret technology to the public domain. In addition, there are huge debt forgiveness programs and public transparency policies to be instituted. A great deal of responsibility is to be handed to you. Be ready, dear ones, to support these vital changes and help your societies in their push toward full consciousness. Blessings. We are the Ascended Masters. We come today, dear brothers and sisters, to discuss some aspects of the new financial system that have not yet been talked about. First of all, let us look at the BRIC nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China. Our Earth allies know the importance of these four to monetary reform and have secretly assigned them a series of key tasks. Brazil is a crucial nation for two reasons. First, it is essential that the Amazon basin be restored to its former, ecologically fully functioning capacity. Second, Brazil needs to provide a prosperous lifestyle for her large population. Monetary reform and debt forgiveness gives her the resources to accomplish both tasks. The same goes for India and China. Here, great spiritual legacies need preserving and billion-plus populations moved into a state of prosperity. Again, monetary reform and debt forgiveness will be the foundations upon which the new regimes can institute the policies addressing these colossal challenges. A great spiritual renaissance is to be centered here. This brings us to Russia. Russia has been instrumental in forging new monetary policy for Europe. Her vast gold reserves and geographic position Sitting astride both the Urals and the Caucasus give her a special role to play as a major mediator in bringing this new monetary program into being. We have worked with her in positioning several major gold depositories and in protecting them from harm. In addition, we have used the special energies of the outer Caucasus region to protect the rest of our global gold depository system from destruction by the dark. These activities have been made possible by a special group that we have been encouraging over time inside Russia. This group is destined to form special caretaker governance with the wholehearted assistance of our Earth allies. Russia is using her new economic position in the world to assist the other BRIC nations in their drive to enlist others to adopt a new global monetary system. Progress toward regime change continues my brothers and sisters. We are overseeing the last series of legal hoops. 
These include a massive signing on to the new economic system by a majority of nations that agree with the formal BRIC nations' proposals and the completion of documents setting in motion a changing of the guard in a number of nations. These final legal documents contain the provisions to end the long rule of the U.S. corporation and to return America to her original constitutional governance. These developments dovetail with the last detailed accounting of your prosperity funds. The goal is to bring both processes to completion concurrently. Then we can conclude the final step of our prosperity programs and begin, together with the Galactic Federation to ready the new governments for disclosure. Then our task is to inform you fully about the next steps on your divine march to full consciousness. Your march to full consciousness has been our prime mission over the millennia. All of us have, in our own unique ways, concerned ourselves daily with humanity's spiritual enlightenment. We have used the good offices of Gaia's spiritual hierarchy to spread the wisdom and knowledge that you require to advance in consciousness. Our messages and guidance are making you day by day more aware of who you really are. Your advance in consciousness is a necessary preliminary to what is next planned for you by heaven. In Agartha lies your final destination. Here, the well-trained, personal mentor assigned to you by the Galactic Federation and by Heaven is to merge you back into full consciousness. Then we will greet you and welcome you to our midst. We, all of us, have the responsibility of specific tasks to maintain Gaia and to spread the light throughout creation. The first contact mission has been concentrating on Mother Earth. We have been monitoring especially the ever-increasing number of sea cakes in the Southern Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. These quakes are beginning to alter the traditional Aban subduction patterns of the South Pacific, Central Indian, and Mid-Atlantic Ocean plates. This most certainly portends that major quakes are to happen shortly either near Asia or in the North Pacific Basin. A series of deep resonances of a specific type are echoing through these regions. We are working with several interested parties to scale down what now promise to be truly colossal shakes and some massive long-traveling tsunamis. These phenomena are merely Gaia's warning that all of you need to wake up and become conscious of the dawning of a new era. Do what is necessary to prepare and accept that you are not alone. Accept that we are here and ready to disclose a number of vital facts to you. The Ascended Masters are nearly ready to change your reality in the twinkling of an eye. This new world is about consciousness, and about bringing in the galaxy to finally greet you and compliment you on the new you. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Salamat Gajan. Salam Edja. Syrian for B1. And be enjoy.